Hey guys, how's it going? Come on in, coming in. Today's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna jump inside of Unity and we're gonna take a look at creating, well, the same zombies. Sorry, I'm fixing my mic here. The same zombies that we've been creating for the entire game, but we're going to just change their clothing. Uh, we want them to be wearing bathrobes and bathing suits because this level that we're working on is a creepy interior pool for the hotel. So I think a lot of you are gonna be surprised how easy this is. So I'll see you on the other side. By the way, guys, feel free to download my free 2D game kit below. It's totally free. It's my treat to you. I used this exact 2D game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, and then I got to play it in front of his subscribers, which was really awesome. Um, so download that. Use it however you want. It's my treat to you. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, be sure to download my free game kit below, which is something that I used to make a game for PewDiePie in just 14 days. But I've also, if you're interested in 3D games, there's a link in the chat that's pinned. It's also in the description. All the free goodies are in the description. Um, you can download those. They're gonna help you out in your game journey. Uh, 2D game kit, also a course on how to make 3D games, and also a course on how to make six figures. That's my webinar on how to make six figures with just a demo. So click below while this live stream is running and go ahead and sign up for all those things. You can do one or all three, it doesn't matter. They're gonna help you out, they're totally free. Okay, so yesterday we created a mermaid, a creepy little mermaid here, and we did it pretty quick. Um, the same is true with our zombies, okay? So if we go ahead and place a zombie here, let's just type in walker. There should be one called walker here. If we place this walker, there it is right here, we just place it right here. You'll notice that inside the walker, I have a ton of different skins, okay? And these skins will eventually delete. So the moment I hit play, all those skins delete except for the one that we want. So the theory is, is that we could put as many skins as we want, and when we enter play mode, aside from a little blip in the frame rate, everything will optimize automatically. That's, that's the goal. So let's go ahead and open up this walker here and you can see we have an armature and then all these graphics here for the various skins are inside the little graphics folder. So if I wanted to, I could have a zombie with no hair, okay? Um, that's the red one. Why is he got, huh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Or we could have one that's got red hair or we could have a female, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside a fuse here, and you can see I've already created, this, this was super easy. You just assemble the body, select which body you want, um, select the legs that you want, the arms that you want, and the head. And we can then, oh, looks like we chose the wrong feet. Where's the male zombie legs? There we go. So now he's gonna have zombie legs, okay? We can also go to the texture and change the textures, okay? So if I wanted to, I could change the texture of the, I don't know why my screen is so small. Let's see if we can, nope. So the, the icons are super small, sorry guys. Um, but we can go ahead and change the, the, the texture here of his pants, okay? So I'm gonna choose something that kinda looks like a 1920s swimsuit. Um, we're gonna try and see what we could find. Um, I'm not sure what that would look like. Uh, let's go ahead and Google it. Because we're in the 1920s, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my browser here. Give me just a sec, guys. We're gonna type in, I just wanna make sure I don't Google swimsuits that will get this YouTube video removed off YouTube. So, <laughs> 1920s male swimsuit. Let's open that up and see what we got. Ah, yes, interesting, interesting. Like I said, there we go. Plenty of images that should not be on YouTube. Okay, here we go. As long as I don't scroll up. It's so funny, whenever you do a uh, Google image search, the shopping stuff is crazy. Um, 
Okay, so let's see here. We've got like these pinstripe um, like swim bottoms. So I think we could do that. So let's just find something like that because I, I, want, I don't want them to be wearing this because it looks a little bit too much like clothing, which is too similar to the previous levels. So I want it to be just the bottoms for the male here. And so what we could do is we could go to one that kind of looks like stripes. That one's great because that's gonna be really easy to go into Photoshop and make striped swimsuits. I don't want a belt though. So there's part of me that wonders if we've chosen the wrong shorts. So let's see here. Let's go to our bottoms. And do we have any shorts that don't have a belt? Okay, I kind of want them to be not a skirt. That, that actually might work. Let's take a look at the, the textures again and see if we can get this to look good here. Um, let's see here. Fringe stripe. Uh, Miss Cloud Game says, replayability and streamability is the main factor games go viral nowadays. I would say it's close to the, I would, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, I would say that's the main factor. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that bottom there. But again, we've got a belt. Um, we could probably just change the color of the belt in Photoshop, but this looks great. Um, I think we want to give him some hair. So let's go ahead and go to our assembly. Uh, can we add hair now? Or maybe customize his hair, let's see here. Ah, clothing. Okay, let's go to his head, or his hair. And 1920s hair for men, they, they have this hat, but that's a cool little hairdo. Um, they also have mustaches. So I, I wanna try and make this look as 1920s as possible. So we could do something like maybe that. No, that's a mullet. Close. No. What about slicked? That may work here. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it doing that in the back? That is so weird. Uh, I kind of like this one the most. We're going to do that. Let's go ahead and give him a mustache if they've got one. Ah, there it is, mustaches. And we could do this. Good, all right. So he looks 1920s. What about spectacles, any spectacles? Or a hat, interesting. We could do, um, let's see here. No, I don't really see any, like this might work. <laughs> but I don't really like it, so you could just delete that. And maybe, maybe some glasses. Um, I don't really like those. I don't like the weird shape. I wish they were just perfectly circles. So I'm not gonna do that, that's totally fine. I think he looks great. Let's go ahead and export him. Now I'm gonna make sure that I export this OBJ, it's a .object file, at 1.48. And everything should, should get uh, exported properly here. Uh, my theory is, is that, no, I think that should be good. Let's just go ahead and export him and we'll export him into the folder. Yeah, this is called um, Fuse. Uh, for those of you who are curious, this is called Fuse. And Fuse is, it's an old tool, honestly. It's not the best, but it's fast and it's cheap, meaning free. Uh, and cheap meaning it's, um, it doesn't take a lot of my time. So I can get, I can get some decent characters done pretty quickly. Um, and that's the goal. Um, especially when you're creating, you know, like three different variations of characters every single level. You wanna make sure that things are getting, uh, that, that things are, are pretty speedy. Because there's a lot of stuff to do for a game. A lot of stuff. And when you're an indie team with a small budget, um, and guys, this budget is over $200,000. Um, I think already, I think I've already spent that. Um, so that's small though. <laughs> that's pretty small. Um, so anyway, I, I, maybe it's 150 that we've spent. I'm not sure. Um, okay. I can't remember what it was. Um, so let's go ahead and type in, go to fuse here. And I believe, uh, it's not an NPC. It's an enemy. Okay. We're going to go to our enemies, new walkers. And I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this Walker Short Hair, or Walker Male Short Hair Swimsuit, okay? And we don't need to create that many variations. 
Um, it's just probably a male and a female is all I really want to do. So we're going to export that and then we're going to bring it into Unity. And I can't remember who it was, but one of you provided me with a script that you wrote that rigs up this mesh to my current rig, which is awesome. Um, it's so, so helpful. So we're going to go ahead and open this up here. And right now we have the default selected. Okay, so there's our default. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that new walker. Okay, walker, male, short hair, swimsuit. There it is. I'm going to drag this in. Okay, you can see we've got some issues with the scaling. Okay, that's not good. I wonder why that is. I wonder why. Hmm. What if we brought him in? This is interesting. What if we brought him into here? Nope. He's still pretty big. So what we need, this is sad. So <laughs> not as easy as I thought. What we need to do is we need to open up this walker here inside of Unity or Blender. Uh, that's an FBX. So let's see here. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Blender. And what we're gonna do, this is kind of a pain in the butt, but what we're gonna do is open up the, model. Uh, let's see here. It's sad, you know, I thought the, I thought that the, the scale was correct, but apparently not. Uh, but that's okay. We can open up the, the FBX file or import, oh, such a pain. Import the FBX file uh, for this. Okay, we're gonna open up the other one, the sort of default character. And then we're gonna line up the other one's size, which is just a pain in the butt. But I can't tell you why it's happening. I still, still don't know. Um, and we've, I've been dealing with this for a while. So let's open up the FBX, import him, there he is. So that's the FBX of the original. And what we wanna do is import the OBJ of the other one, okay? Such a pain in the butt, but that's okay. Open up the art, enemies, enemies new, walkers, walker mail, short hair, swimsuit, OBJ. And it didn't export the textures either. I don't know why. So there's just a lot that's wrong here. No, I'm not using a general FP an FPS pack for the movement. We uh, coded our own. So I'm just scale him down, okay, like this. And then we can delete the other one. Come on. Oh yeah, good. Okay, good, good, good. We're gonna delete all this crap. Okay, and this should be good. It's just sad because I need to get the textures as well and I don't know where they are. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and export this. Actually, we'll apply the scale. Okay, so now it's 11111, which is good. And we're gonna export this, as, or we're gonna save it as a blend file. Okay. All right. Thank you, Super VR, for your support. That's awesome. Do I have any experimental ideas to do in Unity? I'm not sure what your question is referring to, but I'm very interested in AI right now, as most of you probably are. It's going to change everything um, for the worse in the short term, but long term, I think it's gonna be beneficial. Walker, male, short hair, swimsuit, blend. So we're gonna save this and hopefully, we can just go ahead and drag this in and he'll be the right size. Fix now, okay, so apparently the normal map did something, I'm not sure what it was. Um, okay, so where is our, oh my goodness, where are you? My folder structure is terrible for these enemies. Um, there he is. So one of these is a blend file. I should have named it. Okay, that's the one. That's the one. So we're gonna name this blend. Okay. 
And then I can drag this in and hopefully it's the right size. Okay, it is, good. All right, we're gonna zero this out. Um, so just when I say zero things out, I just mean zero out the position. Good. Uh, his scale is still screwy. Well, well, well. That's just frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating. Look at that. All of a sudden he sucks. What in the world? How strange. So far, I am very disappointed in this whole process. My goodness. Um, I couldn't tell you what's going on. Hmm. Let's take a look at the scale import in the model. It's set to one. What about this one? Set to one. Hmm. This is the kind of stuff that really bogs me down when I'm working with Blender. Is there's just different scale options. Um, let's see if is the rig. He's not even rigged. So much is going on. Um, crap. I am not sure what's happening. I'm going to delete the blend file because I don't trust it. Um, okay, the swimsuit got all the colors, so that's good. The scale factor, we're just, we're just seeing some issues. I couldn't tell you. Huh. Convert units to one meter unity, but this one is 0 0.01. Whoa. That is so weird. So setting it to 0.01 is the, is the goal, I think. I don't know why that's happening. Um, yeah, it's just a pain in the butt. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this uh, to 0.01 and hit apply. So weird, look at this. Oh my word. Frustrating. Um, I'm gonna open up this, this blend file one more time and figure out what's going on. Frustrating, this stuff wasn't supposed to happen. Isn't that what we always say? This was not supposed to happen, um, but it is and I don't know why. You have to apply the transform before exporting it in Blender. I did. Um, that's the thing, is I did. But we're gonna go ahead and open up um, one more time. We're gonna see what's going on here. There's our blend file. Okay, that's, that was deleted, which is fine. We try it one more time. Import OBJ. Games, Twisted Tower. I hate this freaking navigation system. Oh, here we go. Um, import. Good. Okay, so he's huge. He's absolutely huge. And I just wonder, I go, what is the export issue here? I set it to 1.48. It should be totally fine. But it's not. before exporting it for Fuse, 0.01. No, I don't wanna do that. Why don't you create a parent object for it and increase the size for it? See, that's what I'm doing. Ah, I'm confused. This has sort of been my process for everything. Look, if I go ahead and import um, like an FBX for, let's say, just a tower, Unity, oh, let's go back up here, there we go. Um, if we go to like our walker clown, or how about just, let's do the female. There's our FBX for our female. She's tiny, look at this. And her scale is what? Let's double check, 0 0.01. Wonderful, wonderful. Huh, so we're gonna have to do some tricky math here, guys. Basically, we have to scale this down. I don't know what's going on. We have to scale this down and get it set to 0.01. Look, it is, okay. So the problem was, <laughs> Thomas, the problem was is we were applying the transform and we shouldn't. No, 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 I could be wrong here. Yeah, no, 
Yep. So I guess that that's fine. Whatever. We're going to delete this, delete this, 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 and this. And now we're going to save this or export this as an FBX. All right, whatever. Um, does he have a rig? That's the thing. He does not have a rig. Shoot. So we have to freaking weight paint it first inside of Mixamo. Um, man, the pain, the pain. Okay, Mixamo.com. We have to first, ah, yes. This is the step I missed. I haven't done this in like three months or maybe two months. Um, I have to upload it to, to Mixamo's animation system and it will rig it for me. Then it'll wait, wait, paint it for me. Then I've downloaded the FBX and I should be just good to go. That's the theory. Okay, so let's go ahead and import or upload that character that we just created, okay? Not the FBX, but the, OB, the OBJ. My brain is like, sparking and smoking right now um, enemies enemies new walkers swimsuit and it's going to be the obj there it is upload that it's going to be weird it's going to this is such a dumb process um i wish that fuse had this built in and I thought that it would, but it doesn't because it is Mixamo, Mixamo Fuse. Uh, but when you export from Mixamo, it just doesn't auto rig it. So we have to specify the elbows, the knees, and the groin. Bing! Right there. Click next. Thomas, it took me three days to export a rigged spider into UE4. <laughs> That's from Triple Tap Games. I know, right? Um, but I do have a process here. It's just I kind of forgot what the process was. I should probably write it down. So our little fella is spinning around here. Once he's done, we can export for Unity the rig. Okay, there he is. So far, so good. How could I have forgotten this? This. Uh, This process here, um, the swimsuit, yeah, it did it did pack all this crap, so we're good with the the textures, so that's good. We just needed to download our character here, so um, let's download the FBX for Unity. We're gonna download the T pose. Ah, fine. Um, and that's downloading. Ugh. What do you what do you think? I have to dig through this. Sorry, I'm a little fussy today, guys. Just uh, a little bit fussy. Let's save this in our FBX folder. Let's, let's create a new FBX folder. And then open that up and save it. There we go. Let it import into Unity. And the theory is, here we go. I should be able to drag that in and it's... Think we're okay? One, one, one. Yay! Okay, we're good. Hooray! So he's a little bigger. I don't know why. I think it's just because the T pose is a little different, which sucks. Um, I'm not sure why that is. So the next step, this is going to be skinned mesh merger. Now this is a script that one of you gave me, and if you're in the chat, say hello. I'm really, really um, grateful for this because it's so helpful. So the correct model is this uh, all the way up here. Drag that in. The model to adapt is this one, and we're going to merge the skins and see what we get. <gasps> it works. Yay. Oh, no. Ah, oh, we're good. OK. So we're going to call this one. I'm going to group it up. We're going to call this swimsuit male. 
drag this in there and we can delete this. Oh, son of a bee. Where did you go? We're, we're so close, guys. Hold on one sec. We're going to go back in time. And I believe that this needs to be put right here. Sorry, one sec. That's the correct one. This is the one we're adapting. Merge. Let's wait for it. Okay. So there's all this. If I hit play, if I delete this, what happens? There we go. That's what happens. By the way, guys, if you haven't downloaded those free goodies below, be sure to check them out. There's a game kit for you. There's a 3D course for you. There's a webinar for you. All of this is free. Check it out below. It's going to really help you. I need a game journey. Let's load this up. Can we skip the programming part of this stream? Well, R Ronald, this isn't programming. This is just game dev. No, I'm not going to optimize the mesh. The mesh is fine. R2. OK, let's drag that in one more time. You guys ready? So we have our swimsuit model. That's funny. We have our swimsuit model here. And if I delete it, we get another crash. No, we don't. Good. All right. Thank God. So if I group all this together, what happens? Yay. Swimsuit. Male. Yay. It works. OK. So if I disable default, here is our swimsuit. And if we hit play, he walks. Perfect. And his hand is perfectly wrapped around the knife. See, I knew what I was doing. It just took a while. All right. So there is our walking swimsuit fella. All right. So what are we doing? Um, we need to set up his, oh, so many things. Uh, we need to set up his materials. Okay. So let's see here. Let's make sure that the materials we're using, yes, okay. Yep, okay, good. So we're gonna set up the materials really quick. There's a lot, I wish we could merge them together. But we can't, okay, we're fine. Um, so if we go to the walker, there we go, um, we have all these textures here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag these textures onto um, his body. Good. We also have his swimsuit. Good. That's the wrong one, but whatever. It's creating materials for us. That's all that matters. All right, so we're going to have basically two materials. Um, we have the diffuse, so we're going to do the normal map. We're going to do the... I'm not going to really worry about the gloss map right now. Um, and then this is the, that's the wrong one. So that's the swimsuit. Good, okay. All right, very, very good, guys. So that's good. Uh, I wonder if we can do also the, can we put it on his feet? Yes, we can. Awesome. Uh, and also probably, let's see here, if it doesn't, if we need to do it with the hair. Okay, that that's great. So it's really only one material we need. This is gonna be, Yep. So it's two, really it's, um, what am I saying? Two materials, so this is gonna be the opaque. But we also need a transparent one just for his eye eyebrows or his uh, eyelashes. So this is gonna be transparent and that's gonna be his eyelashes, his mustache and his hair. Okay guys, so far so good. And then also obviously the eyes. And that's going to be the opaque one. Good. And um, so far, so good. We also probably need to do the, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and throw the, the, the normal map on there. And then also, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and do the, uh, the smoothness map. All right. 
Shouldn't he walk more like a zombie? Sure. I agree with you. There's a lot of things that should happen. There's a lot of things that I just can't do right now. But that's that's something maybe we can do uh, soon. What am I doing? I forgot. Ah, uh, yes. The gloss map. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this inside of the diffuse inside of a alpha channel. That's good. And then we're going to save this as a PSD. Good. Open it up in unity. We can delete this one and then we're going to bring it back to the, it's right here. And then this one here. Good. Um, we're also going to make sure that we alpha is transparency, remove the mat, hit apply. And also, let's turn on the lighting here really quick and see what we get. We're so close, guys. We're so close. Um, drop down smooth. And it's the albedo alpha. That's the, the uh, smoothness map. Good. I believe that's correct. Um, I could be wrong there. Also, the hair. Probably could use a normal map. Here we go. I think we're good. It doesn't look right, but um, yeah, it, it actually does look okay. Okay, good. All right, so how do we make get this to work, guys? Well, by default, we need to say, look, swimsuit male will be destroyed immediately, um, which is in this graphic here or this, this script here. So I can drag this in and it will by default delete those immediately. However, we also want this to be the one that it chooses, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do here is that's the default. We're gonna create a, um, if we go to Walker R2 and drag it in, the default should be activated by default, obviously. So there he is. And what we're going to do with this one is um, I'm going to create a, a variant of this. So let's go ahead and select this. And I'm going to call this Walker R2 prefab variant. And it's going to be Walker R2 swimsuit. Okay. So we're just going to have two versions. All right. So this one's going to be the male. Okay. And it'll, it'll, it'll randomly choose whether it's male or female. Okay, um, and so we're gonna go to our graphics here. And the female graphic is set up to just the standard female. Um, so that's that we need to fix that, but for now that's fine. The graphics it's gonna destroy immediately are, are a ton more. We're gonna do the, the it's gonna destroy the default one, the um, red hair one, and then also that's about it actually. The graphics it's going to sort through is just one, and that is the swimsuit male. It's going to it's going to immediately choose that one. However, if we set it to choose a random female, it will choose the female graphic. Okay, that's that's the theory. So let's see if this works. I'm going to save this out, and why not just go ahead and set the swimsuit male just so we can see it. Um, and I, guys, believe me, I know that that's really confusing everything I've just done. Uh, because it's not that you're not smart enough, it's that you don't understand my system um, like me and my team do. And that's okay. Every game has sort of a, a system that slowly stacks on top of itself. And it's not necessarily the best system, it's just what works for the team. All right, let me mute this really quick, or at least turn it down. And let's take a look. There he is. So it works. All right, let's make his swimsuit. So it doesn't look, you know, like a swimsuit right now. It looks like he's just not wearing clothes. 
Which is kind of what a swimsuit is, isn't it? <sighs> well, Thomas, careful, buddy. Don't fall asleep. Man, I want some coffee. Um, I really, really want some coffee. I'm trying not to drink coffee, though. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and open up this uh, PSD here. And there we go. Good, good, good. So we don't have a lot of resolution to work with here, but I think overall it's going to be totally fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically, you could obviously, guys, use substance to do all this, which is what Felipe, my 3D artist, does. But when Felipe's doing more important things, I'll go into Photoshop and just tweak the Photoshop graphics. Okay. So, or, or the, uh, the unwrap. I'm going to take this. And also, we want plenty of blood. So we're going to add blood splatter as well. And we did this yesterday with the, uh, with the mermaid, if you remember. Now, I've had people tell me, Thomas, this is a terrible approach. Don't do it this way. Um, but I've found that if you know exactly what you're going for, and you also have a small scope for your game, this method is totally fine. Um, it's, there's, no, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, OK, so what we're going to do, uh, we have those, those shorts there. I'm going to see if I can select, yes. Good, OK, so I, gotta, I can select the seams and paste those. Okay. And then I can make these. Um, let's see, again, what were those swimsuits here? It looks like it's like orange and white. That doesn't work for me because it actually conflicts with contestants. The contestants have like prison jumpsuits on. So I'm gonna do black and white or like a black, maybe a bluish black. So something like this, whoopsie. Um, yep, something like this. So sorry, wrong color. There we go. And then we'll add some stripes. These. We're going to do a multiply. There we go. Drop down the opacity. And also, we don't want this, remember? That's what makes it look less like a swimsuit. There we go, guys. Um, I'm going to drop it down significantly, though. And then finally, we're going to do white stripes. Okay. So if we disable this, we can get a better idea of how the stripes run. This is why it's so important, guys, to choose a texture in Fuse that's like kind of similar so that you can, you know, um, if you're going to sort of do it this way, it's much easier to create the textures or your own custom textures. They're not going to be perfect, but um, they'll be fine. They'll get the job done. That's, that's what we want. Okay, so that sort of goes into his crotch, I think. Um, so that's going to be white. All right, let's just save it and take a look. Well, well, well. Not even close. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's try a different approach. Pattern. This is probably a terrible idea, but we're going to do this striped pattern I created. And pretty small. Actually, let's do this one here. I just want to see how it looks if it with smaller stripes. What? What in the world? Sorry. 90. There we go. Click OK and try and position it up and just see what happens here. OK, that's much better. That's all we had to do. Apparently, that's all we had to do. So not exactly what we're looking for, especially because of these. Um, I wonder if I could go into the mesh and delete those. I bet you I could. Or I could just color them. You know, I could just do a, basically a black here. Or white. Save and take a look. Yeah, the belt loops are the problem. Um, we could pr we could try and open it up in blend or uh, in Blender here. Um, this is the wrong one. 
So let's let's actually just delete all this and go ahead and import it. Import the FBX and it's Walker male short hair swimsuit FBX. There it is. What if we go into this and just delete those? What would happen? I'm going to select this and press Control Plus. Same here, Control Plus. And uh, this one here, Control Plus. That's weird. Look at his back. The pants are like forward. I think it's because it's not rigged or something. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not doing that in Unity. What a strange thing. Okay, so let's go to back to object mode. Good, good, good. Awesome. It works. Yay! Export FBX. Fingers crossed. Um, Walker male short hair swimsuit FBX. Fingers crossed, guys. Man, I don't really want to do this. We can always go back. Let's duplicate it. <laughs> Let's just duplicate it really quick. We want to be sure here. Hold on one sec. Hello? Maybe some shading to the size of the belt loop on the mesh to make it seem more curved. No, yeah, playing with fire. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on with my... Uh... We're just going to do it. Export. That's called a gamble, my friends. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Well, it was a, it was fun while it lasted, guys. Oh man, Thomas, you idiot. You are a, a very silly, silly guy. Uh, so there he is. If I put him in here, it could be something we can solve pretty quickly here. Um, yeah, it's because the it would have happened anyway, guys. Basically, um, the problem is is that the because we broke the prefab connection to the blend file um, earlier when we when we set up the rig, it lost its connection. So that's that's okay. Um, but everything's good though. Um, we can go ahead and add all of his his materials though. Good, and then go to his eyelashes and hair, and we'll do the, it won't take long. Just drag these back in. There we go. All right, good, good, good. And remember, we want to pull this out here. Son of a bee. Why? Let me pull it out. I don't want. I just want you here. There we go. Okay. So now what we do is we go to the mesh merger. Let's go ahead and save though. Cause last time we got a crash. This is the correct model. This is the model to adapt to merge those together. There we go. All that's good. I'm going to copy these, delete them go into our swimsuit and there we go. We're gonna delete these. And the theory is those should paste inside, bang, just like that. And if we enable it, we should be rigged up. Yay! So if I hit play, shoot. Almost. Close guys, close but no scar. So we're going to, um, let's see here. Yes, got it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and drag that swimsuit guy right there. There we go. One more time. And this is why it's, it's, it's true that AI is going to disrupt everything. But this is also why AI is going to really struggle with games, I think, for the next maybe year. Because there's so many, there's just so many things that make it so difficult to get everything just right. But maybe, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and gr uh, group this together. And um, we'll pull it in right here. 
Okay, so let's see if that, that works. Okay, good. And it's gonna be the swimsuit. Okay, male. Swimsuit, male. Um, hello, Game Debbie. Game Debix. So there's our swimsuit male. Now when we go ahead and go back, we can delete this one, and then we have this swimsuit male here. And you can see here it's missing that game. Or, um, let's go go to where where was it? Yes, right here. Good. So this is our swimsuit. Um, yep, there he is. Okay, so Walker R two. We got to call this swimsuit. And then um, that's good. That's good. Missing game object. Drag that in, and then hit apply. And this will ensure that we can drag this swimsuit version of the walker uh, anywhere, right? Uh, come up, guys, come up with some ideas for his weapon. So instead of a knife, what would somebody at a pool house um, who's wearing swimsuit and flip-flops, what would they use to kill you? Um, would it be a knife? Okay, um, so there's our swimsuit guy. Now the problem was, though, we need to go ahead and set up the textures like we just did, right? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just drag all these. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Okay, this right here, yep. So these are all the opaque ones. Drag them in, and then the only one that we don't need opaque is the hair, the eyelashes, the hair, and the mustache. And those will be transparent. Broken pool strainer, umbrella, a rubber duck, a slipper, loofah, diving board, club, hot dog skewer, spatula, surfboard, flip-flops. I know, I was thinking of a pool, pool noodle too. That would be hilarious. It really would. Um, man, none of those are really like painful. Uh, the spatula is too, it's not really like they're at a cookout. They're at some creepy billionaire's pool house. A glass bottle from a drink. Mm. Eh, I don't know about that. Let me ask ChatGPT. You know, Dream Badger is probably going to come up with some good ideas. Make sure that it, it knows that it needs to be a hard surface object, something sharp. A golf club. A glass bottle is boring, yeah. Anyway, let's see if this works, guys. Ready? And his swimsuit looks pretty good, too. How kick, what we're trying to do is figure out a weapon that this enemy type will carry. So instead of a knife, what is he gonna carry? That looks great. Yeah, so he needs to carry something that's not a knife. A knife is scary, don't get me wrong, but we have plenty of those in the first chapter. We're on chapter two. So chapter two needs to have a little bit different graphics. Let's set this to multiply. Um, no, 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 uh, overlay or screen, yeah, screen. A blue gem. <sighs> um, broken champagne bottle, a tiki torch. Man, this is hard, guys. A stuffed swordfish. Uh, this is hard. A wrench is the, a wrench is probably the best thing I can think of. Strix says, "I'm sorry, but I cannot provide instructions or advice on creating a weapon to harm others." See, this is the problem with ChatGPT. Everybody knows it; they just don't want to say it out loud. It's way too careful. I wish ChatGPT, if ChatGPT would just get rid of the restrictions, it would be amazing. But it's so difficult to get a freaking answer out of them. It's basically a politician at this point. Pool net, 
Oh, a croquet mallet. There it is. There it is. Thank you. That is so good. Matthew Prass, a croquet mallet. Congratulations. Can we give a round of applause to Matthew Prass? Good, good, good. So let's see if we can find that um, on, uh, I would say uh, Turbo Squid is my go-to. It's probably not as good as Sketchfab, but for some reason I always go to Turbo Squid. Um, so let's type in, how do you spell croquet? Billiard sticks. That's funny too. Yay! So a croquet mallet, huh? Um, let's see if we can find one that, that looks good. Those are all really funny, but that's too expensive for me. Um, this is good right here. It'd be funny if like the female carries a bowling ball around and whacks you in the head with it. This is good, guys. Let's go ahead and buy it. I'm gonna hide my screen while I um, purchase. All right, go ahead and buy this. Dimitar says, I can model one for you in 10 minutes or less. Oh, that's very nice of you. I like to go through this more contracted process, which is you buy something from TurboSquid, you're legally allowed to use it. You could be the nicest guy in the world, but then if the game makes a million bucks, your uncle might tell you to sue me because you made a croquet mallet. And then your uncle will convince you to sue me. Does that make sense? So that's why... <laughs> Whenever I work with people, I make sure a contract is in place. All right, let's go ahead and download this. Um, I'm fine with the, let's see, does it have, yeah, we probably just wanna do the object file. So we'll just download that and we're gonna save it into the OBJ. Actually, let's just call this mallet. There we go, we'll just save that, and that'll save all the textures as well. Um, and we're not gonna be t too crazy here. Um, all we're gonna do is uh, just go to where the actual knife is. I don't think we can delete it yet, but we can disable it. And then we're gonna go to croquet. And guys, there's a lot, a lot of optimization that we have to do for this project. I'm gonna uncompress this really quick. So like when I have objects that are disabled, blah, 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 there's a lot of cleaning up that we have to do. But right now, this is something I was talking about yesterday. It's really valuable to be able to just keep moving. So it don't, don't get, it's, it's a balance of not getting bogged down and continuing to move forward, but also knowing that you will need to opti optimize eventually. Uh, but right now, I'm good with just doing it this way. There we go. We're going to scale this down significantly. That's hilarious. I love it. And we're just going to position it, honestly, inside the knife with zero, zero rotation. Um, we can enable the knife, but we can disable the graphic. And then we can set the rotation. Well, the zero is wrong, or the position's wrong. The scale's good. Um, and then we can just shift the rotation forward and see maybe you. Ah, whoa, where did you go, buddy? Hello? <gasps> what? Oh. Snapping's on, that's why. All right. So there's the mallet. Just about like right there. Let's give it a shot, guys. Zombie with the mallet. Needs a good thunk sound when you hit something. That's from Lestricon. Oh, that would be great. There's a lot of things that it should do that I'm just not gonna do. 
Yeah, we do need a better sound, though. <laughs> okay, let's see what the rotation is here. Okay, so we need to rotate the mallet to be... We're going to find its exact rotation here. Negative 46. Okay. So this mallet right here will be negative 46. Good. Okay. So that the rotation feels smooth and like directional. You know what I mean? Whoa. That's good enough for me. And good enough is my favorite word or phrase. I say that all the time now. Um, just because there's a lot that we have to do. And polish is for, well, the polish phase, right? All right, let's go ahead and create a female really quick. Um, so if we open up Fuse here, um, I'm going to do it with just my camera because if I do it right now, we're going to get a topless zombie and the video will get flagged. So give me just a sec here. Which, you know, trust me, you don't wanna see. Um, here we go. <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, um, and then the bottoms will be like a bathing suit. Okay, you guys can look now. Um, so we're gonna give her a different head. So zombie female, female zombie right here. What I might do, by the way, is uh, I wanna make her look like really malnourished. What I might do is hire somebody to come in and really stylize, uh, oh, uh, stylize this stuff. We should probably choose all female stuff. I totally forgot. So legs need to be, let's go back in time here. Uh, the legs need to be, <laughs> Okay, we'll just start with this with this with the legs here. Female fit zombie. No, we'll do skinny zombie. Female skinny or is there one? Yeah, there it is. Female skinny zombie. Okay, that's the legs. Ooh, gross. Um I can't even read this. There we go. Oh, that's weird. Is there one that's skinny or? There it is. Ewe. Whoa. What on earth? I'm so confused. Um, okay, then we'll go to the female skinny zombie. That's a male, actually. So there's a lot that's going on here that I don't understand. Okay, so there she goes. All right, so that looks pretty good, actually. All right, good, good, good. I don't really like how it does look like she's been just living in the water, though. I definitely like that, actually. Okay, let's go to her hair. And it needs to be 1920s. Now, I understand bikinis were not in the 1920s, I don't think. So we'll see what we can do about that. We shall see. 
Ooh, it's like a flapper haircut. How about that? Nope. It needs to look 1920s. So it'll, it'll, uh, you'll see, you'll know it when you see it. Nope. I think <clears throat> the best one that I saw was this one. Okay. Maybe if she, if there's like some cool hat she could wear. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what we need. So we're going to remove the hair. Good. I like that. Yeah, we just want it to look a little bit... Um, 1920s. We don't have a ton of options here, but uh, maybe gloves, no. Masks, no. Okay, so there, I don't think there's any robes. Um, I could be wrong. I think that's fine. We could do, you know, I'm just trying to think about the 1920s, what they would have. It would be something like this. Yeah. Although, didn't they also have, like, pants? Like, they would wear, like, pants like this. I could be wrong here. That feels 1920s to me. Yeah, I don't know if we, we have a one piece though. That's the thing. It could be something like this. Uh, let's, let's take a look. Let's just take a look. 1920s female swimsuit. Okay. Yeah, it's like a, it is like a one piece. So it's basically a dress, you know? Um, those are great right there. Those are great. Let's take a look. So it could be that we get something, if we could find a little skirt. Okay. So do we have a skirt bottom? Yes. Okay, we've got that. Then we can match it with a top that looks kind of like this. So it's like a tank top. Yep. Let us try. There we go, guys. I think that looks great, actually. And all we need to do is just set the texture, right? Um, to be slightly just in line with what we're going for here. Um, so let's scroll on down to the main fabric here. Uh, no, I, it's gonna be unwrapped the same regardless. So let's go ahead and export this, we're good to go. File, export. Okay, we're gonna call this Walker Female. Um, Swimsuit. Export that. Remember, the process here is to take this and then upload it to Mixamo. Looks like we had just had a crash. We can hope that that's not true. That would really suck. Good. Well, I think we're okay. <laughs> the project file didn't save though, but yeah, okay, it didn't work. 
that's okay. We kind of know what we want. So that just freaking sucks, man. Whatever. In the era of AI everything, we can't even keep software open. Um, so let's see if we get, did it save at all? Nope. Okay, well, we know what we're doing. Oh, that sucks, man. Um, so female skinny, female skinny. So we're just opening up her entire, she's just, she's butt naked right now. So give me just a sec and then I'll share my screen. Um, ooh, that's frightening. Give me just a sec guys. Uh, we had a top and then we also had this bottom here Then we gave her a hat. And yeah, I don't, I don't think she needs flip flops actually. Okay, so I'm gonna be smart here and save this first. So we're gonna save it as Walker female swimsuit. And this is our fuse file. Save that. Come on, save. Okay, that's saved. Let's go ahead and export it. Okay, export that out. CT Twix says, hey Tom, while watching yesterday's live stream, I saw your mermaid sensor, sensor, if statement had a wrong parentheses. And that's why she didn't trigger the screen. Um, I th yeah, I think I did fix it. I don't think that that, um, I don't know. I don't think that was an issue. We were good. There it goes, crashes again. So something's wrong here. Um, let's thank, thank, thank goodness we opened that or we saved it. So we're getting a crash here and I'm not sure what it is. The zombie has to try and keep the hat on while eating. That's right. Um, so we're getting some issues here with this crash and I don't know what to do about it. I would say maybe it could be an issue with where we're saving it. So we could try that and just name it ASD and just see what we get. Dang it. Is it saving at all? It looks like it is. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong here. Let's see. It. Okay. It's, it's saving it, but the OBJ itself is crashing. So I'm gonna close Steam, I'm gonna close Unity. We're gonna open it up one more time. Launch Fuse. Let's see what we've got going on here, guys. So we'll load that up. I'm gonna get out of the screen here. Look, there's a button here called Animate. And the theory is you can animate and just upload it straight to Mixamo, but that's, I believe that that's just incorrect. I'm gonna try it. Check your username and password. Okay. We're gonna try it one more time. Let's try and export one more time. Uh, let's go to it like a new screen maybe. File, export, up, oh. file, export. Hmm. ASDF, maybe that's the trick. Let's 
it's getting hung up on the OBJ file. Mm. Try without the textures. Okay, we can try that. That's an idea. That's a good trick. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? <clears throat> Export. And what's this occluded polygons? Let's disable that and try that. ASFG. ASFG. So we'll try that. Okay, still crashing. Man. These are the kind of things that slow you down. It's never the stuff you expect. It's always something stupid. Um, export. Let's try this new folder. There we go. That was the solution. Thank you to everybody. Hello, Jason. Guys, say hello to Jason. Jason is a friend of mine and my neighbor. So Jason, you're like 200 feet away from me right now. That's the theory. Okay, so that worked, didn't it? So what was the folder called? Crap. Where are you? I just created a new folder and it doesn't exist. Let's figure out where we put it. Oh, I put it inside of the ASDG folder. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> All right, it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. All these textures here. Oh, uh, what? Okay, well, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. I'm thirsty. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring the chin to her chin, her wrists to her wrists, them elbows to her elbows, the knees here, put that groin. It's probably right there. Click next and hopefully, she will uh, rig up here. Muhammad, please. No. Um, but I love you. I don't like spamming. Look, there she goes. Look at her. Hey, girlfriend. She's ready to go. Yeah. Click next. She'll upload and then we're gonna download this and bring it into, see the reason why it didn't matter that I was saving to certain folders is because we're just gonna download this in, <coughs> into our Unity folder. And by the way guys, if you haven't downloaded those free goodies below, click the link below. If you wanna learn how to make 3D games, check that out if you want to learn how to make 
believe the textures are hanging out in here. No, there's no textures, okay. If you wanna learn how to make 2D games or, or how to make six figures with your demo, click the link below. There's a webinar on how to make six figures with just a demo. And there's also a 2D game kit that I used to make a game for PewDiePie in just 14 days. So check all those out below. They're all totally free, no gimmicks. Okay, so we're gonna save this Walker female swimsuit in the FBX folder. This folder is useless, so we'll delete that. And then we're gonna, maybe not actually, I think I just deleted the project file. Oh well. So we're gonna call this Walker female swimsuit. All right, so we're gonna go there. Okay, so Unity's gone. There we go. Guys, this is, we're so close to getting this beautiful zombie walking around in her cute little dress. And I think I'll have her carry maybe like um, a pool noodle with nails in it or something. What do you think? Hey, Nixon, how are you? Come on in, come on in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go into our Walker default game object. And we're gonna pull in that new Walker female swimsuit. There's that folder. Get out of here, I thought I deleted you. And just drag this in. She's gonna be right here. And she's a little short, that's okay. Um, and then we're gonna to go to Skin Mesh uh, Merger and we're gonna merge the correct model rig to her mesh, merge those skins, group them, see what I'm doing here? And then we're gonna to go to, we're gonna call this Swimsuit Female. And she should, in theory, walk just fine. There she is. We also need to make the eyes glow, so don't let me forget. Ooh. Ooh. Coffee. That sounds so good. What am I doing? Ah, yes. So now we need to go ahead and get our textures. Um, we've got issues with our textures currently. Um, let's go ahead and try and export just the textures. So I'm gonna create a new folder here. Uh, and remember it crashes, which, hey, by the way, let's go ahead and save this. Oh, good, it saved, okay, so it should have created that new folder for us. Nope. Let's go ahead and file, save as. Um, remember I deleted that folder that I shouldn't have. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we save this. Um, Enemies, this is such a pain in the butt. Um, walker female swimsuit, good. So we're just gonna save it right here, walker female swimsuit. Good, now what we're gonna do is export it. Now that we've saved it, we can go ahead and export these textures. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna just do it right here and just see what we get. There we go. Walker female swimsuit. And that should, oh, it's gonna do all the wrong naming conventions. That's okay. I don't care. Thomas, do all your NPCs have a point light on them? Uh, that point light flashes when you hit them. So it just creates a little effect just to give a little bit more <clears throat> when you hit something. Okay, so the theory is here that that should have exported our textures, which it did, so that's good. They're all named uh, wrong, so I'm gonna call this textures. Wait, oh yeah, we're rigged up, we're good. <laughs> um, there's our textures, and um, we don't need that, and we don't, that's the, uh, we don't need that either. So all we need is this, and I'm gonna make sure this is the proper spelling, so E-M, And one of you asked me earlier if I work alone. 
No, I have a team. I have a social media manager and a personal assistant who works part-time, and then I have a full-time 3D artist. But this stuff, he doesn't really do the humanoid stuff, so I'll go in and do the humanoid stuff. And this is tough because you're... This is where it gets really complicated, rigging up characters and getting them to animate properly and getting them to sync up with your script. It's just a real pain. And you have to be like, basically, dare I say, you have to be like a rocket scientist or like a brain surgeon or some kind of genius to do this, which is what I am. So if we, <laughs> if, we if we bring in the diffuse here and just throw them on here, um, it should create that material for us. And I'm just gonna drag all those on here. Here we go. There's our material. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our normal map. And then, hey, wait, the gloss, we wanna take this and put it into the alpha of this. Thomas Brush, have you gotten tired of working on this project yet? Uh, yes, I have. I got tired of it about a year ago. But I also know that this project will bring us some income. Probably some significant income. So that's why I'm going to keep doing it. All right, guys. Um, so this is our PSD. I like all my textures to be PSDs. That way I can edit them on the fly. So if we drag this in there and then delete this one, good. And we also want to make sure that this uh, alpha is transparency and remove matte is set to true. And then also we need to go to the, again, the gloss file here. Open up the gloss file, copy that, and then go ahead and go to our channels here. Paste that in. That way we can use this channel in our texture. Metallic alpha, smooth this, drop it down, and then that should be good. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the default for now. So she's all screwed up. I don't even know what to say. There's so many things that I'm confused about right now. Ain't it fine? What? Hello, Lock Melon. Thomas, I'm a solo game dev and I want to, my game released on a PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, but that's very expensive. So I was wondering how you managed to get so much funding on your games by yourself. There's a webinar below called how, um, how to make six figures with just a demo. Watch that webinar. It'll help you a lot. Son of a bee. Okay, so for some reason, oh no. <laughs> We would call this swimsuit textures. Do you have a Photoshop course? Yeah, I have a 2D art course called 2D Art Pro. There's a link below, I believe. Export ma uh, Walker email swimsuit. I, you know, I don't know why this is happening. It's, it's kind of frustrating, actually. I'm getting pretty frustrated right now, actually. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are bothering me right now. For some reason her 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 for some reason for for some reason she's unwrapped pro, uh, she's unwrapped improperly. Let's open up this specular here and see what we got. Well, there's the OBJ file. Yeah. Oh man. Well, let's go ahead and export just the OBJ again. I, I, part of me wonders if I got it wrong. Um, yeah. Let's open that up and export the, the OBJ file again and see what's going on here. It, 
it, the unwrap is not occurring properly. Ah, the UVs. Crap, guys. They need to be packed. The UV isn't packing. Dang it. That sucks. I don't get it. Maybe, uh, guys, I don't know what to do. So this, this crash is causing some issues here. What if we make the pack size really small? You know, we could try that. Well, 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 we've got ourselves an issue, my friends. We don't really know what to do here because we're getting some crashing occurring, which is a real pain. Um, Nixon says, take a break. We could. Um, man, guys, what do we think the problem is? What do we think it is? What do we think the problem is? We could... Let's see if we just remove her hat. Here, let's go ahead and get it so that you can't see anything here. Let's just do that for now. And just try it out. So she's a fit zombie now. Um, and then export. And just see what happens, you know? It could be that the clothes are the problem. You know, I don't know. But we need to be able to export this. Do you see what I'm saying? We need to be able to export this. Okay. So it is, um, it is her dress, I believe. But let's go ahead, maybe it's not the dress. Maybe it's that, um, her chest. Could be, you know, it could be. So it could be it's just this dress and the dress hates being exported. There it goes. So by the way, those of you who are curious what I just did here, um, it's like the scientific method for like game dev. Basically, you just, uh, you, it's not super smart, but you make an assumption and then you test it and then you, you can pretty much, you don't have to do a big Google search. You could just go, oh, looks like it's the dress. So for some reason, this dress won't export. Um, let's try that. It could be that it's just the top, right? Um, it could be that it's just the top. If it's just the top, then we can choose a different bottom. Okay, so it's, it is the bottom that's causing the problem, which is very strange, but it is the bottom that is the problem. That's fine. We could do like a like a bikini bottom. Let's see here. What about this? Uh, you know, I like this a lot. I might just choose the bikini top. Yeah. And then we'll just make it look you know, like a, um, it, it is much creepier this way, honestly. So maybe we're, we're, we're lucky here. Let's try this out. Sadly, we'll, we'll need to re-export everything. I'm just going to assume this is going to work. So we're going to call this female Walker female bathing suit. That's not how you spell bathing suit, is it? Whatever. Okay, so we'll see if this works, guys. 
Ugh. So it just wants me to make her naked is basically what Fuse is telling me. Isn't that frustrating, guys? Very frustrating. What then? What am I supposed to do? Okay, let's delete the skirt really quick and just double check something here. This is so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, so it basically it's just saying don't put pants on her. That's basically all it wants. Let's try this. This is an odd limitation, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so that's that's what we're gonna have to do, guys. I don't know why. Fuse is sus. <laughs> All right, well, well, well. Let's go ahead and um, go through the process again here, the obnoxious process of uploading the character again, uh, which is just so frustrating. Um, there is this the one? Two thirty-seven, two thirty-seven. We're good. Okay. All right, upload that and then rig her up. Oh man, that's annoying. Um, delete this whole thing. We can delete the textures folder. We can delete the whole thing, all of this. We're gonna have to go back to animating on fuse here. Chin, wrists, elbows, knees, groin. Here we go. Almost, guys. <laughs> she, Jason, she said, I'm not going out like that. <laughs> yeah, she's a little picky, isn't she? Should we make the wrists, the knees, just for fun? That would be scary. All right, let's go ahead and download this. Mini Tom says, Thomas, did you know people are using Mid Journey on the full-time game dev server? And I don't know how they know they knew that they can use it. Mini Tom, can you clarify what you're asking, please? I want to address your your uh, thought process here. I just don't know what, you, what the heck. I want to address what you're talking about. I just don't know what you're talking about. Art. Enemies. Enemies new. Walkers. There she is. There she is. FBX. Open. And we're gonna call this what? Walker. Uh. Wait. Walker, female swimsuit. By the way, guys, if you haven't downloaded that free 2D game kit below, I used this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in just 14 days. This is totally free. Download it below. There's also a webinar below on how to secure six figures with just a demo. And there's also a course called Easy 3D, and it's about how to make a, uh, a 3D game. They're all totally free. Be sure to download them. They'll be helping you out. Okay, so that's good. Um, there she is. Her textures are not included, so we need to go and throw those in, right? Bing, bing, bing. Whoa. Bing. So all that's there, good to go. Oh, I didn't know that many, Tom. Mini Tom, are you a are you a uh, are you an admin on full time game dev? Okay, let's drag her in. Jump. Safe. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. 
Uh, Me Mechanized says, so this is why when you see an NPC in a game and you think, why are they wearing that? Because ultimately, like Jason said, the NPC gets to choose what they wear, apparently. They can refuse to be exported. Bing! Merch skins. There she goes. Hey, girl. Wait a second. Where's default? There he is. Good. Okay. And I'm going to save this. Mini Tom, you said you're a student. Are you an admin though? Are you a, uh, what do they call it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you an admin on the server? If you are, you can, well, I'll just look into it. Thanks. Sorry. Okay. Freaking finally guys, this took forever, but frankly, the value that it adds to the game is worth the time. I'll tell you that. Oh, look, <laughs> that's not good. What a exhausting process. But the cool thing is guys, is every enemy we have basically works with this enemy class that we've created. So we can create spiders, we can create snakes, we can create pretty much anything. You just kind of have to know how it works. Okay, so next is we need to get this diffuse here and we need to make a PSD out of it. Oh no, it looks like it's, well, no, we're good, we're good. I was about to say we're gonna get the same problem, but I don't think we are. All right, we're gonna say this is a PSD, why? So that we can also add the alpha map to it, which is the specular, or I'm sorry, the gloss. Is it the gloss? Yeah, it's the gloss. Bring that into the PSD here, create a new channel. That's good to go, save. Go back to the texture, make sure alpha is transparency, remove mat, apply, delete the old diffuse, drag in this diffuse to the body. That's now the texture for the material. Go ahead and bring this material in, but we also need to create a new material that has transparency. Okay, Tra uh, hair, uh, that's good. Transparent, good, good, good. So that's gonna be the eyelashes. That's going to be the, that's about it. Just the eyelashes. Okay, and then what we do is we grab this, good, good, good. Normal map is on there. And then we also set the ability to alpha fix now. And there she is. Now let's go ahead and set her texture to the same texture that the guy had. So they look like they're, you know, actually wearing bathing suits, right? Um, we'll go to our layers here and take a look. So that's her bathing suit and that's her bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the other guy here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take that pattern and bring it into the new PSD here for the female. Whoa, Thomas. What? Son of a bee. Hold on. I don't get it. There we go. Um, my mouse is so slow right now. Um, I'm going to hide that, and then we're going to go ahead and just do it right here. So it's gonna be select, inverse. So now we set, and it's set to screen, but we're also gonna do a that same color, which is this right here. And hopefully, 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 we get a nice color here. Save that out and take a look. That looks pretty good. I don't hate it, you know? So that's our walker with the swimsuit, female. We want to go to the graphics here to delete. We want it to delete the swimsuit female and also the swimsuit male uh, by default, but the walker swimsuit variant is gonna be a little bit different. Um, he's going to Basically, let's take a look here. The female graphic is right here. Oh, look at this, guys. We got an issue. We need to go here and put the female graphic into 
the graphics folder there. There we go. Okay. Now we go back to our graphics parent here. We're going to drag in the, the female here. That's our female. And there's our male. Also, we need to make sure that we can randomly become female. So I'll, we'll go to our enemy default script here, and hopefully that's checked to true. Is female interesting? Is, should, there should be a variable called can be female or something. Huh. Let's open up the default script and, and double check as to what's going on here with regarding the female. Thomas, do you ever think about streaming on Twitch? Yes, I just can't figure out how to multi-stream without it being incredibly annoying. Um, I've tried so many times and it always ends up being a, a sort of a mess. Awaken female sounds, blah, 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 blah. Let's see here. Okay. I think it just automatically assigns it. So is female. How does that get assigned? Let's double check. Enemy.default is true. Oh, okay. So if it, if it picks the female graphic, it'll set it to is female is true. But if there is no female graphic, then it's not going to sort through it. That's the theory. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, let's just place a couple of them and see what we get. Ready, guys? I need a new PC, that's for sure. One, two. Crap. Hmm. So, for some reason, we're not getting a Randomly decided for I don't know. Ugh. I'm unsure, guys. Let's let's take a look here. So there's this is female, right there. But let's double check and see that it's assigning properly. Swimsuit female is right here. So th that's what she should look like. Huh. So we're not getting it for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. Oh. Wait a sec. I think I have an idea of as to what's going on here. Yes, okay, so it can sort through. I need it needs to be able to sort through both of them. So we're going to open up this, and then we're going to go to two, and then we're going to swimsuit female. There we go. Okay, awesome. There she is. Let's see if we can switch out the sound effect for the clubs. I, I, I feel like she should hold something. Um, something feminine like a purse or an umbrella or uh, I don't know. But let's let's see if we can just quickly. Um, The attack sound. Let's see where that's being played from. I think it's right here. Slash. So we need like a whoosh, 
like a baseball bat slash sound. So let's hear what this sound is. Ah, there's a scream. Interesting. There's also a slash sound. Hmm. Let's see here. Sorry, guys. I'm just looking at something here. Okay, well, I got to go. Um, that was really, really fun. Be sure to check out the free goodies below, guys. That was really, really fun. Thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you later. Cheers. Get over here. Get down. Hey, thanks for watching. By the way, if you haven't downloaded that free 2D game kit below, click below, it's my treat to you. I used this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, and I actually got to play it with him in front of his audience, which was really cool. This game kit is totally free. It's my treat to you, and you can use it however you want. You can make a commercial game and make a million bucks off this game kit. I don't care. Or you could just use it for a hobby project. It's my treat to you. And by the way, if you haven't clicked like, that would mean a ton to me, hit subscribe, and also, this is important, hit that notification bell, here's why. If you get notified of when I'm live, you can watch me make my next game and let me know in the chat what you think about the game or any ideas you have, and you might just show up, your chat might just show up in the next video that I upload. All right, I'll talk to you later, bye.